So hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this video will cover this lab. So first of all, click on start lab and open the cloud console in Cognito window. Now a lot of you guys are facing issue on this lab that files are not showing on the Jupyter notebook. So let me clear one thing. This lab is having some issues, but I have found a way how you can complete it and I have reported it to the support team and they have also acknowledged it. So first of all, click on I understand. Now after that, we will navigate towards the workbench. So just move here from the navigation menu. You can see Vertex AI. Click on the workbench. And here we will open the Jupyter Lab. And here we'll cover how you will be able to complete this. Just open the Jupyter Lab. I am showing the error because you need to understand what kind of error will be there. So I am showing the error how we will be able to fix it also i will show so no need to worry about it just watch the video carefully so as you can see the finally the jupyter notebook is ready and you can see on the left side no file is there that means there is no file how will execute the file as per the lab instruction there should be a file name intro to design so there is no file what you can do you can close the jupyter lab and just click on the workbench and just click on this reset what I said, you have to just click on this Jupyter checkbox and just once you have checked it, you have to click on the reset button. As I did in the video, just follow the way and once the Jupyter notebook is ready, you will reopen it and start the task. Let's move on. Uh, Jupyter lab is now ready. What you need to do now, you have to just open it like we did in previous step. I know many of you may find it annoying, but this was the main step you need to understand how you can reset it. So now just open the Jupyter lab. It will take few seconds, so wait for it. Meanwhile, in case you haven't subscribed the channel, subscribe it and like the video. Sometimes what happens, you get some kind of error on this page. So in that case, what you need to do, you have to just close it and reopen the workbench Jupyter notebook like we did in previous step. I hope you understand. Now let's move and see. I think files will be there. Can you tell me? Fill the files there. So finally the Jupyter notebook is ready and you can see on the left side the files are there. Just open it like this. And here we have to select Python 3s kernel. Now wait for the kernel status to go idle. After that we will update all the tasks. Now first step is that we need to update the project ID and the region. And also first when you run the install command after that we have to restart the kernel you can see here. So now let's update the project ID. Project ID is present on the lab instruction just copy it like this. And just paste over here and for the region just copy it. Paste over here. Now what you need to do first step is that you need to just install the GNI SDK. So just use this play button to run it. After that, once the kernel is idle, you have to just restart it. Again, press the play button. Now, if you will get this kind of pop-up, click on OK and wait for the kernel status to get idle. Idle means the circle will be empty. And busy means it will be filled. Now, what you need to do, just click on this. Click on run. Run selected cells and all below. Make sure to run it. Now, wait for a few more seconds and once it is done, we will be done with the lab, guys. Do like the video and subscribe the channel. It will take a few seconds, so just wait for it. Finally, you can see here that the kernel status is now idle. Now what we need to do, we have to just go back to the lab instructions where we have checked all the tasks. There we have to just check the score for all the tasks. So here are three methods. You can use the check my progress bar. You can just go to that particular task if you are unable to get the score. Like suppose you are unable to get the score on task number one or five. You can refresh the browser also and you can go to this task and just hit check my progress you'll definitely get the score and if you face any issue just rerun the all the shells again one by one using the play button so finally we are done with the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel